What's up, everybody? Spoilings Redemption. And we're back at Redcliffe. It's been about three days since I played this. Um, been doing some other stuff. And we gotta help Redcliffe get their shit together. So you're the Grey Warden. We Owen's the only blacksmith who... Alright. So Owen's the only blacksmith. What we wanna do with Owen here is... Go away. Curse you. Leave me in <sighs> Be gone, I said. Don't you try to come in it. So I'm break these locks off of it. Um, we want to kill Owen because we want the Far Cry song. Well, actually, no, we're not gonna kill Owen because I got that other bow. So we just we just skip through this shit. Morgan's gonna disapprove. Liana will approve. There we go. What we basically did there was we signed up to quest to get his daughter out of the castle. We do that when we go into the castle. Alright, so he's done. Now we got to, um... We don't need to win. Uh, you, we, anybody can hold that first area. All you basically need to do is that. Do that, come up here, talk to Sir Parath, and you ready to play. Do 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 do. So you truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? Hmm. What do you believe happens to you after you die? Then? I must admit, I am un. I oh well. With, with that. Otherwise, I do not know. That gladdens my heart to hear. No, nothing comes to mind. As you. Sometimes you can talk to Sir Parath here. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready. Although we, overall, my fellow knights are no. As and Ginger, what do you want? Y you come up here scratching on my leg, whining. What do you want, baby? All right. Sometimes you can talk to Sir Parath and actually get him to um, go ahead and wait to nightfall. But if that doesn't work, you can always come down here to Murdoch and get him to do it again. This right is where haste works handily, but we don't have haste. At least not yet. Well, I'll send one of my men to in. Are you sure? There's still time. Then go All right. Anti-magic ward. I've never actually used that stuff. I mean, I guess you could kind of like lure enemies to hit you with fireball with anti-magic ward on. But not enough enemies, uh... Midges aren't that big of a deal. Alright. It's time, men. Our frost weapons ain't gonna mean jack dick for this. Alright, punks. Come get you some. See if we can get the dreaded howl out of the way. Let's finish. Let's do that. I didn't I should have did that. We're gonna we're gonna sit on Morrigan here. We're going to get a ass full of frost here. Um, I'm trying to make sure Paraff and them take the brunt of these hits. There we go. There we go. Wait, come on. Come on, come. All right. 
we can get yeah that right here however there is ideal all right I'm sorry I'm not talking too much here I'm trying to concentrate Oh, okay, okay. There we go. Another freeze job. I'm hoping I can keep Dog alive. Liliana just leveled up. Oh, yeah. That's game. Pick that stuff up. The monsters and are attacking from the come up. All right. So that basically that's the first part of the battle. It's a two-part battle. It saves right there. So let's go ahead and level Liliana up while we got a, ch a chance to do this. All right. We'll give her to 20 strength, 18 cunning, and 25 dex. All right. What were we? What were we doing? We're getting aim. All right. Remember how I talked about how we had, we went and got the gauntlets. What we want to do now is we'll self any and switch this over to aim. That's going to increase her damage tenfold. It's going to manually put it on. All right. And we're going to take. We're just going to go and take frost weapons off. Yeah. And these things do not hurt undead whatsoever. And that will that'll give us another 60 mana to play around with a Morgan. But she's she's really got a lot of stamina right now. How much stamina does she have? Let's go to, over to uh, stats. she got 553. I mean, I remember my first mage at level like 20 had like 500. So she's got a lot of stamina. And we're just casting a bunch of low level spells right now. So we're gonna leave. So we're still using more gun here. We're gonna try to. Uh, there we go. I, I need to uh, hotkey uh, lightning. Let's go ahead and put lightning right here. That way we can do a little bit of damage. All right, but like I said, our main role is crowd control, so let's, there we go, just like that. I'm pretty sure almost all these town folks are going to die. <laughs> Let's see if we can line this up properly. Just like that. Oh, Prince of Dukin holding it down. Alright, we got another. I mean, we got here. Got three walking corpses. Go and stun them. These guys are what walking in the middle. Let's go ahead and catch this guy. Nothing else. Give him a little bit. There we go. again she we're waiting on our cold of cone there we 
we're just gonna sacrifice this guy to get three on throat iced. talking about might be it. That's one militia man. Nope. Freeze! Said stop in the name of lo we lost a lot of mi mi military men but we still got Murdoch. I'm not sure if the military men actually, the militia men actually um, count towards if you lose anybody or not. Um, we're about to see right here. Because uh, I'm sorry I didn't really talk anywhere. It was like a 12 minute segment where I was just struggling. But that's pretty much what you want to do right there is you want to take control of your. Um, you want to take control of your mage and use your Kona Cold and kind of go about and crowd control with that in Mind Blast. There we go. Alright. Where? Oh. I got a flame rune in my sword. That's why it's flaming. Alright, so now we got to go into the castle. We'll get that shit popping in. Pretty much same deal in the castle. We're going to use Morgon. We're going we're gonna to abuse the shit out of our corner cold. And we're just going to get round through it. Because he's undead. They hit hard. There, There's a lot of them. And now we don't have all the militia mans to take a brunt of the damage. So, um, crowd control between dog and, um... Crowd control between dog and Morgon is imperative. I have... Here's what I, perhaps, I, sir, I don't think, whatever you do, you are. Alright, here we go. Let's go and get into the windmill. There is a flower, that's like a, like a special gift for Liliana, right to the right of this windmill. But, um, I'm not grabbing it because I got Fester's gifts installed, so pretty much you can dictate where you want people at anyway. So, like you see, how mages are bait. I use mages more as crowd control than anything else. Like this corner cold actually does like sixty damage toward the end of the game, which is a pretty good wa wallop. All right. All right, same deal here. What the hell? For some reason, my characters are not attacking. Okay. Trying to avoid using Winter's Grasp here. Alright. She's down. Down. Okay. Is this just still a nightmare? Let's see options. Yeah. Wait, my name. No. All right, this is Jawin. You meet Jawin in the mage thing. 
Jowen basically poisoned the Oral, and he taught Connor some magic. But Connor was so young that a, a demon possessed him, and a demon started putting these undeads out there. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, it's, it's time to get a shit popping again. I'm doing something wrong here with Durin. Alright, Durin, let's see what, what you got here. Taunt if surrounded by two enemies. Let's have you aggressive then. There we go. we go. Where was Durin's thing about that? Oh, how did I get myself into this? Alright, Durin leveled up. Alrighty. We'll do that. And that. And I'm going to I want to put one into poison making. I'm going to do that. Frightening appearance level 12. Well, we get level 9. Shield tactics. Need that. Shield tactics is great. Makes it so you're unflankable. We wanted to go to Durin again and select tactics. Devour. Yeah, that seems about right. I need to, I need, I need more, um, I need a couple more, uh, thingamabobs on Durin. But I figured that poison making would pay for itself down the road so I can actually, when I get Zevran and he's going to be picking all this death fruit shit, um, I can actually use him on, um, homeboy too, just because he has one skill in poison making. Alright, so let's all right, there's one shambling corpse. Is that all you've got? Watch out! Let's make this quick. Let's do that number. See right here, you can kind of stagger this stuff. Just mess these guys all up. There we go. Alright, does Liliana got enough? I finished. Yes, she does. Take all your shit. You know what? I need to see if. Homeboy can put on King Kalen stuff yet, because I'm still using that generic stuff. Let's see. Oh, yes, he can. There we go. But I don't want to put on the breastplate. So, I don't know. Let me put. Where's the shield at? Let's see the shield. Let's see what it. I know King Kalen's stuff. Yeah, that's not worth it. Takes it down. It takes him down like. Takes him down a little bit of fatigue, but his shield right there gives a lot more pluses than uh, King Kalen's stuff. So we're going to go with that. Alright. 
There we go. See, this right here is how it's supposed to work. Control a mage. Have your fighter get all that. Once I once I get frightening appearance, I'm talking too loud. Once I get frightening appearance at um. Once I get frightening appearance at uh, level 12, it makes it a lot easier to pull uh, aggro. And Durin is going to be a monster at that point. As you can see, he, he he can survive a lot more just with just with just with the simple shield flanking yeah. techniques. Alright. Come on, buddies. There we go. Go and do this. Morgan's taking an ass beat here. Use that on the Mabaris. This is not how I planned this out. There we go. We made it through it. Let's see. That gives dog some war paint, which we don't got any war paint on dog. So let's go and give him some war paint. Let's see what we got down here. War paint. 30 electricity resistance, 30 cold resistance. Let's do the electricity. Uh. Reason we electricity because I don't really remember any mages that use cold spells that often. Right ahead. There's a trap. Good girl, Liliana. Watch for the demon. I suppose violence is the solution. I've tried to do that before. They're done. Hang them out to dry. What we got in here? More. I see. Come on, Dura. Good lord, Morgan is so good. Let's go and get her over here. So we get a freeze on him. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, see this right here is a mistake. Hopefully we can rectify this quickly. With some with some drained lives. Yeah, we're good. So we got another mind mind blast here. Easy for sheezy, my kneesy. This cold cone is way too good. I'm hoping they don't have something like this in the next game. You might be like, well, wings, what, 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 why would you want something this good in the next game? Because it makes the game dull. Like, I can sit here and abuse the shit out of cold cone since I got it now. Even even if I did, I had half the mana, I would just not be casting like lightning as much as she was drain life in cold cone. And you know what the big thing is is the shattering uh, thing. Um, like you'll. You, like you'll you'll see me it'll keep saying shattered. If you critically hit a guy when he's frozen in cold cone, it instant kills him. And I don't know if you know this or not, Liliana, she's gonna get to the point where she's gonna have like sixty or seventy percent critical chance. That means every time she hits one of these guys when I hit cold cone on them, they're just gonna just gate level. That that brings these troops in, Sir Paris troops. Okay. 
Get that one night. And he's totally immune to cold. Who went down, doggy? Yeah, dog went down. Dog hit the dirt, son. There we go. Alright. So the reverend's down. Not even thinking about it. We had a knight of Redcliffe hit the dirt too, but that doesn't matter. And this is coming to... You know what? We fucking forgot the uh, do man's daughter. We'll go back and get her. I'll go back and get her later when they're off camera and shit. But but the, the daughter was in that one room that we just walked right on by. Melee archer. That's a, that's a big one. If you ever start an archer, you want to get that right out the gate. That way you can shoot a guy in the face at point blank. Uh, all right. I'm this is Connor. He's a, he's a, he's possessed by a demon, kind of like the Exorcist. All right. Now we got we got to fight a band of possessed knights and band Tegan there. He craves entertainment. Okay. I'm gonna do that because during. We will do that though. That is 100%. I need. Look at this, son. Just wiping the floor. Stunned. Down. Let's end this. Very well. As you wish. Very well. So be it. As you wish. I see. I should do it. Damn, this is getting too easy. So be it. him down there we go they're done Tegan. Lee. all right there's a couple routes to take here I'm gonna take the easiest route they take him away and I'm just gonna go ahead and kill Connor right in here no what I would agree and we're just gonna kill Connor right here there is a way to go into the Neither fade, but we have. I understand. Can we do? Save my son, and you will be rewarded. That I promise. His life is worth more to me than anything, even my own. Actually, we'll, we'll go. We'll go the fade route. But what will happen? Since we gotta, we gotta do this tower, the circle tower anyway. All right. So there's that. And we're done with this section of the game, and now we can now we can actually get to the place where we uh, have Zevron come in. But yeah, Colder Cone is way too good. Um, I understand they should make it kind of like Winter's Grasp that it has a chance to freeze, but not a one hundred percent chance to freeze. Like maybe make the saving throw lower for enemies. That way they just won't just straight up destroy. Okay, go to Lake Chalahead Docks. That way they won't just straight up just destroy every um, every what am I looking for? Every mob that you come across. Let's see. Do that. <laughs> Get stunned, hater. Uh, Alright, now we got the Drake to deal with. See, the, the Drake right here isn't actually on the computer version. But like like you see, 
He's supposed to be a pushover for range guys. Because he's supposed to just give you the quest real early. So like just just whack him away with your spells. See he's blocked, but our spells will hit him. And we're almost done. Oh, there it is. Got a chain mail on him. Pick some elf roots up. And there we go. That's some Drake scales. Here's a little fun facts. Drakes are actually male dragons, and only female dragons can become high dragons. The more you know. Poor guy can level up. So we're gonna go ahead and knock her magic power up more since she doesn't need no more willpower. And what can we go? What route are we gonna go? We're gonna go the force field route. This force field allows me to take out yellow mobs right out the battle and, and deal with trash mobs as I see fit. I'll go ahead and save right here. And um, I'll catch you guys later.